Can you fuckers shut up? You two have been arguing about the N1 microfighter for 20 minutes. All I said was $16 for something I can build with the parts at the pick-a-brick wall is fucking outrageous. And I needed to point out that Grogu totally makes the price increase worth it. I can literally go on BrickLink right now and buy one for $3. Okay, can we finally get to the tier list? We left off at the Imperial Troop Transport. This set is a very mixed bag because it's amazing for army building, but also absolute shit because of the Rebel Stormtrooper design. Yeah, this represented the downfall of LEGO Stormtroopers. The faces on the helmets look so terribly disproportional that it's disgusting. I like the vehicle despite how inaccurate it is in size. It's so mid, so very mid. LEGO had the chance to give us a battle pack with four regular Stormtroopers, and they chose the shit-faced versions. Put it in C tier for that very reason. All right, the uh, Senate Commando Troopers. I like the set. This set is absolutely terrible. Put in F tier. It completely ruined the value of Senate Commando Troopers. We only got them in two sets before this, and now they were accessible in mass to everybody. Are you seriously getting your Lego Star Wars opinions from MNR Productions? Along with the 2009 Clone Pack and the Mandalorian Pack, this is the perfect set for army building. They are fucking Senate Commandos. They're never supposed to be seen in mass. This set sucks. I like the uniform blue troopers, and they didn't throw in two battle droids with the set. Also, the cannon is pretty sick. But Donald makes a good point about how Senate commandos are not seen in mass. So I'm putting in in C tier. I can't believe you're putting one of the best army builders of all time so low. I can't believe you're putting the most imbecile set so high. Okay, on to the shadow troopers. I think it's really cool that Lego is covering more stuff from the legends. The shadow troopers are really good. Way better than the originals from 2008. This set is pretty underrated. The speeder is actually a cool build, and the Shadow Troopers are an accurate color to the OG Battlefront 2 game, except they should have had jetpacks on them. Okay, I'm putting it in A tier. The Geonosis Battle Pack is up next. I don't recall this set actually being made. According to Brickset, it's classified under original content, but I think the clone troopers in the set look nice, and the walker is decent. I think that the walker looks awkward with that huge-ass nutsack of a stud blaster attached to the bottom. Also, that Technic beam sticking out on top of it makes it look like a penis, which should not be seen by children's eyes. Yeah, LEGO was really stretching for ideas when this is what they came up with. I'm putting it in C-tier, and we're moving on, okay? On to the Resistance Troopers Battle Pack. I like the dual-molded helmets that are introduced with the set, along with the speeder actually being screen accurate to the movie. I'm in agreement here. They actually made a decent good guys battle pack. The resistance officer is also pretty cool. I think Joe fell asleep. Hey, Joe, wake the fuck up. Uh, what are we ranking? Okay, the next one is the original First Order battle pack. I think we can all agree this set is F tier. There's literally one regular stormtrooper and two shitty ass officers that nobody likes. I actually would put in D tier because I like the turret build. You're a fucking moron, Donnie. That turret is just a gray titty with a stud shooter on it. Put it in F-tier Barack. All right, how do we feel about the Battlefront 2015 Rebel Alliance pack? The Rodian minifigure is actually cool and the speeder is interesting. I'd put in C-tier because Rebel battle packs are kind of lame in general. The jetpack pieces introduced were really cool and the set had Cad Bane in it, so that's cool. B-tier? That's not Cad Bane, you dumbass. Just for that, I'm putting in C-tier, so let's move on. Okay, the Battlefront Empire pack. I like the Imperial Shock Trooper introduced here, and the Jetpack Troopers had nice-looking battle damage on them. In retrospect, I think that the Command Station is actually one of the greatest builds they ever put in a battle pack. Although I still hate that they included another Imperial officer. B-tier at best. Yeah, I'll go with B-tier. Okay, glad we can all agree here. Next up is the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack from Rogue One. This has the absolute best turret ever designed for a battle pack and an excellent speeder. The figures are also really good. This set is so fucking boring. The colors are all bland and sleep-inducing. The coconut helmets introduced were kind of cool, I guess, but beyond that, this is a very mid-battle pack. I have to agree here. While I like that the speeder is the same color as my Corvette, it just isn't doing anything for me. Okay, it's going in C-tier, and now we have the Imperial Battle Pack that was also from Rogue One. I love the good Stormtrooper designs. Not as good as in 2012 in the helmet department, but they are still great minifigures. The Death Troopers kick so much ass, it's astounding. Yes, they are so fucking awesome looking. Although the Walker build looks like my ex-wife, the minifigure selection more than makes up for it. Put it in A tier. I don't like those Stormtroopers. Their helmets look distorted. Shut up, Joe. It's going in A tier. Okay, next up is the Bounty Hunter battle. That battle pack is dog shit. 
The fact that they are all named characters means there is absolutely no repurchase value. Drop that shit in F tier. Oh, come on, man. I actually like the lizard guy. It's a good upgrade compared to the original from 2010. That may be true, but they should not have sold it as a battle pack. This was the worst part of my first year being the president. I'm going with Donald on this one. Although we finally got a four-lom minifigure, the set just completely misses the point of being an army builder. Also, the Dengar minifigure came in the Eclipse fighter the previous year, and we had to wait another two years to finally get Zuckus. And what the fuck is that speeder design? Is that turquoise? Why is there a random backpack on the back? Of course, you hate that it's blue because I won in 2020. That is fake news, Sleepy Joe. Drop that in F tier and let's move on. Yeah, it's a great Lego set, but it's a shitty battle pack. Okay, next up is the 2017 First Order Battle Pack. I think it's a solid B tier, considering the massive upgrade compared to 2016's Abomination. The fact they actually had more than one Stormtrooper and even a Flame Trooper totally makes up for those two shitty officers from the previous one. Although the officer in this set is rather dull, I do really like that the speeder resembles something from The Force Awakens. I think we're all in agreement here, unless you have something to say, Donald. The set introduced those kick-ass shield pieces and put Traitor in a cheap set. Put that in B tier. Okay, up next is the First Order Executioner pack. The Executioners are cool, but you only see two of them in The Last Jedi. Everything else in this set is just trash. I remember nothing about that shitty-ass movie, but the walker sucks and it has two officers. Put it in D tier. Okay, the Tatooine battle pack. I think this is a B tier. It's a weird idea, but I think it's executed. Are you fucking kidding me? There was a sand crawler that same year that included the same amount of Jawas and an astromech droid that isn't literally redhead R2-D2. Who wants an army of fucking Jawas? For once, Sleepy Joe actually says something I can agree with, that sand crawler from 2018 is already a shitty overpriced set. This battle pack should have absolutely been included within that bastard. So I actually like the build in the set, and the Tusken Raider is a nice inclusion. I'm putting in B tier. B tier? Are you fucking kidding me? Where in episode four do the Jawas ever fight a Tusken Raider? Whatever, my list, my rules. Fuck off, Obama. Okay, Jedi and Clone Troopers battle pack, I'll just quickly say. Easiest S tier of my life. Kiati Mundi is the best Jedi in the history of Jedi, maybe ever. Shut up, Donnie. We all know you only like Kiati Mundi because he's what you look like when you remove that stupid Captain Kirk toupee. With that, the set is garbage because one half of the set has phase one clone troopers that can be used for proper army building. On the other hand, you have two Jedi that are prominently featured in the Clone Wars. Shut up, Joe. You just don't understand that this set has the best motherfucking clone troopers ever introduced after that episode. Two Clone Wars clusterfuck introduced in the 2022 minifig pack. Also, gunship gang, where you at? You're also being a fucking hypocrite by saying the bounty hunter pack is terrible while this one is the best. You can army build with the clone troopers, and why wouldn't you want an army of Kiati Mundis? While I agree with Donald that those clone troopers slap fat cheeks, Barriss Offee is the absolute fucking worst Jedi for being a traitor by blowing up the Jedi Temple. They couldn't have chosen Plo Koon or Mace Windu? Of course you are going to pull the black card. Are you forgetting that Mace Windu is actually Snoke? Don't you dare pull up that screen rant theory bullshit. I'm putting this set in D tier. Go fuck yourself. Okay, the Imperial Patrol battle pack from Solo. Hands down, this is the best speeder ever put in a battle pack. Agreed. Lego actually included something that was in the fucking movie and didn't pull something stupid out of their asses. The Imperial officers included really dragged down the set. Hell, I think one of them is named, so that's pretty shitty. The Imperial patrol officers, however, were fucking amazing. Put it in B tier. That's a good point. It's going in B tier. Okay, the Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack. This is actually one of the best concepts for a battle pack by creating a platform to have them fight each other. Plus, you get that First Order Stormtrooper that not only can be used for future army building, but also became a funny meme. I think this is a certified A tier. You're seriously putting it in A tier because of a meme. The Praetorian Guards aren't really seen in mass in The Last Jedi. C tier at best. Donnie? I like that it's red. Drop it in A tier. Fuck it. It's going in B tier. Okay, the Inferno Squad Battle Pack. This is a weird one considering that there's only four members of Inferno Squad in the EA Battlefront 2 game, but only Aiden Verzio is named and all the others are generic. I feel that if they had included an extra helmet that could be used to swap out the hairpiece on Aiden Verzio, this could have gone down as one of the coolest battle packs ever if you remove the context of there only being four members of the Inferno Squad. The speeder gives me vibes of Director Krennic's shuttle and the figures look great. I don't understand why one of them has a Lego Batman movie utility belt, but it's cool, I guess. 
I think it's a solid B tier. Okay, B tier it is. Okay, the next one up is the Imperial Dropship 20th Anniversary Edition. I think the dropship is a very faithful recreation of the original set. However, as a battle pack, the main issue arises from the inclusion of the retro Han Solo. It's super fucking cool, but I don't want an army of them. The stormtroopers in the set also have the newer Family Guy helmets that look terrible. On top of that, the shadow trooper is missing the silver highlights present on the older figure. I think they should have done this figure in gunmetal similar to the Shadow Troopers pack. I just realized I can buy like a hundred of these sets and just rub the 20th anniversary back print off of the Han Solo minifigures and sell it as the original from 2000. This is truly an epic stonks moment. Trump, that meme is literally older than fucking Pelosi. I'm dropping it in C tier because of those goofy ass stormtroopers onto the Sith Troopers battle pack. It has some cool-looking minifigures from a movie literally nobody likes. I like the Sith Jet Troopers especially. The speeder looks oddly familiar to the First Order snow speeder. Remember when the Force Awakens sets came out and they made a set for a vehicle that didn't even appear in the fucking movie? The standard Sith Trooper looks cool enough, and it's great to be finally getting it in a cheap set. Also, the Sith Fleet Officer has an amazing red highlight on the torso to mesh well with the other troopers in the set. Although I will never forgive the fact that it came from the rise of Shitwalker, C tier. Okay, sounds good to me. The 2020 Mandalorian battle pack is oddly similar to the previous one from 2011. I swear that they have almost the same speeder build and they also have a wall style defense post with the difference being that this one is rather rocky. I like how different all of the Mandalorians are. The fact they all have capes instead of jetpacks is also an interesting change up. While I will not deny that the figures in this set are quite good, they could have also done a set with Mandalorian Loyalists to make this a better army builder. I'd put it in B tier. Okay, the 501st Battle Pack is without a doubt the most anticipated and successful battle packs in recent memory. Sure, it was double the cost of a standard battle pack, but the content you get is amazing. Just for reference, how many of these did you guys buy? I only bought four because Michelle thought five were too many. I bought 47 of these. 69,420. I wanted to make sure I had more than both Ryan and David Hall. Okay, Trump, we get it. You're rich. The combat speeder is a nice addition to the set, as well as the two battle droids being included. I do think it's amazing that MNR Productions was able to group together a big enough mob to harass LEGO's social media accounts to get this set made. But the end truly justifies the means. The ATRT may not be as good as the original, but the clone troopers in the set are absolutely amazing. Even introducing a 501st jet trooper was a nice touch, certainly an S-tier set. S-tier deserving, just for going back to the classic blasters. I like the look of the old 501st clone troopers, however. Here goes Sleepy Joe defending an old piece of crap. Put in S-tier so I don't have to listen to him. Okay, the snow trooper battle pack. It's absolutely ridiculous that Lego raised the price to $20 for something that originally cost 10. This set was literally only made to fill out the UCS at at. Agreed. The only real highlight aside from getting more standard snow troopers is the introduction of Hoth Scout troopers, along with the speeder being far more refined with the newer slope pieces. The snow bunker is pretty cool, but the set is super overpriced for what you're getting. Obama makes a great point with this set's only reason for existing being the UCS at at. I'm mainly relieved that at least they didn't fuck up and put another at it pilot in a battle pack. B tier for being better than the 2010 set, but not higher than that. Agreed. Okay, cool. For this next one, were either of you even able to get a hold of the clone minifig pack? No, because every time I went to the LEGO website, they were completely sold out. This is one of the biggest blunders made by LEGO where the set was on back order for months and then they decided to retire it after only a year. The clones in this set are very mid, to be completely honest. Put this in D tier. I actually agree here. They reprinted that dumbass clone trooper that doubles as a pilot and the standard Phase 1 clones don't have a consistent style. They mesh the Episode 2 and Clone Wars armor patterns so they aren't even accurate to either property. Luckily, I was actually able to get a hold of one of these and it's really bad. The weapons rack is worse than the ones they put in the advent calendars, and the command station is like a tenth of the size it actually should be. I'm putting this in D tier. The Hoth Rebels pack is up next. Literally no one asked for this set. Lego hasn't made a proper echo base since that terrible one in 2016. The minifigures are also super bland, and the Hoth turret looks ridiculous. 
They're rebels. Who gives a fuck? I think Sleepy Joe fell asleep due to how fucking boring and terrible this set is. Put it in F tier. Okay, thank God we're on to the last one. The 501st Specialty Battle Pack is pretty decent for what it is. Despite the increase to $1.20, I can confidently say that the figures are great and the cannon looks very good. It gives me the vibes of the AV-7 cannon. The only real disappointing element is the macro binoculars don't have any printing for the blue stripe. Custom companies have been doing it for a decade, and it's really stupid that LEGO could not do it. Other than that, the piece is excellent. That and the box falsely advertising the way the rangefinders are connected to the helmet of the 501st officer, along with the printed waist capes present instead of using fabric ones are disappointing. I'm thinking B tier. Okay, we'll go with that. Looking at this list, it's certainly a hodgepodge of shitty opinions. Says the guy who put the Tatooine pack in B tier. Says the guy that put the Jedi clone pack in S tier. Okay, guys, chill out. Maybe someday we can do a UCS tier list and piss some more people off. I'm still stuck on the gunship cavalry level. I'm going to try to beat it again. I never got past the pod racer level. Screw you, Donald. I'm just going to fix this real quick. Perfect. <laughs>